Well, he's put in a nice little record, uh, this horse, and it was a vintage D Oliver ride. Damon, did you like that one? Yeah, it was good to get a win. Um, it was just a little bit messy getting to the turn. I was following the favourite, but um, he was a bit of a marked man. There was a bit of a bumping jewel, and they were all in a bit of a line, so um, I had to switch back to the inside, and um, he did a good job. Um, coming through the greys nicely, this horse, um, and finished really strongly. It doesn't matter where they win here in Victoria. When they get the three-year-old grade, and I suppose Saturday grade, it's, it, it comes down to the one percenters. Yeah, and it's not um, not uncommon that they can come out of maiden class and, and win in town uh, this time of year. Um, but it was a handy little three-year-old race today, and his last win was quite solid. So um, I gave him a good chance, and it was nice to get a winner for Blue Blood. I've had a lot of luck yeah. with them, um, both myself and Mick. We've had some some good success and some good horses as well. So they're good contributors to the stable and it's nice to see him get a handy horse again. Great result. Thanks, mate. Here with Mick Nolan. Mick had a very different complexion to it than the win at sale. Yeah, um, it was a funny race. They went, they jumped out and they went slow and he got back along the fence, but uh, it's pretty good when you can put a jockey of D Oliver's calibre on. They sort of sort things out themselves. Yeah, he would have felt very comfortable in the run that he would have been able to compute things and work his way along the rail. Uh, let's just have a look at Shusha's run as well. What did you take out of that? Yeah, well, it's, it's a bit hard to look at three horses in one race, but she looked like she was had a little bit of... Uh, she, had, uh, she looked like she had every chance. She maybe got a little bit of interference at the finish that, that probably cost her, but the, she's been beaten by three pretty handy horses, I think. So for a filly to run fourth... To, because I think the second and the third horse are pretty spare horses, and Zero Doubt obviously is on the way up, so she's gone for a filly against Gelding, she's, she's gone good. Zero Doubt got capacity to stretch out beyond the seven furlongs? Well, he's a bit of a... He's a horse that's come ahead in leaps and bounds. He, he, like, he went ahead when he won the maiden, and he's gone ahead again, and he's, a, he's been a bit of a work in progress. He's had a few... Uh, minor issues and he's been gelded and since he's come back he's a, he's a different horse and he's one of those horses every time he goes to the races he improves so you just don't know where they finish up those horses. Well done Mick, three chances, nice to get the winner, well done. Yeah, very nice.